Hello everybody, Damascus Fox here, bringing you another look at video, and today we'll be looking at this guy. This is the Cancept Little Main Street. Pretty interesting looking knife, but before we get into all that stuff, this is just going to be a quick look at. I'm just going to give you a run through the specs. Not going to be a full review. I will be reviewing this guy soon-ish. Probably not soon-ish, but in a while, I will be reviewing this guy. But before we get into all that stuff, Stuff, please consider subscribing if you like knife and EDC related content. I post videos every week and I think you might find something enjoyable in my content. Thank you very much. All right, let's get right into it. This guy's blade steel is 154 cm, which I hear some pretty good things about that steel. It's using G10 handle scales. This one is the Jade G10 that I got off of Blade HQ. Uh, this guy has a milled pocket clip. Really cool looking too. Nice retention. The liner lock knife with countersunk liners, which is beautiful. Love that. Uh, this guy, the blade is a reversed Tonto, which you don't really see many of those reversed Tontos. It kind of looks more like a... It's kind of like a worn cliff, but it, it, on Blade HQ, it's classified as a reversed Tonto. So, okay. Um, this is a flat grind with a black blade. There are many different versions with different colored handle scales, different colored blades, uh, different design uh, design on the scales and everything like that. So I'm not going to list them all off. There is a lot of them and prices may vary from, uh, you know, model to model. So keep that in mind. And then this guy is also made in China. Price on this guy is at Blade HQ is $66. Same on Knife Center. And the MSRP on this guy is $94. So not a bad price at all for what you get here. And I do I do like the feeling of this guy. This guy feels really nice. Let's do the cut test. Never use this guy. I don't think I've ever used this guy. Sometimes I forget because I have a lot of knives that I use. So... Uh, but I never really, if I did use this guy, never, ex like, you know, hard use of this guy. And I've never sharpened it. So this is pretty much out of the box um, edge. So let's see how well they did. And not a good first start. Let's see if I do this better over here. So it is sharp. Yeah, so it is sharp. It will cut. I think it's it's I think it might be my uh, edge alignment that was off. Yeah. Okay. So the edge is a little bit less on the side, so you kind of want to go straight down a little bit more. The edge geometry is a little different on this guy than I'm used to, but it will cut. Definitely will. So that's pretty cool. I like that. And it has really uh. Really nice fit and finish so far. Really good. This is not a review. Just giving you a quick look. You can add, the action on this guy is really nice. You can do the reverse flick. It is actually a very tiny, cute little knife. I like this. Now, don't be fooled fool like I was. I, you know, don't be dumb like I was. Remember to read your knives, <laughs> specs, and everything about that. Because when I first bought this knife, the picture made it look bigger. I didn't read the. I, I didn't look very well because I'm kind of dumb uh, that it's only like a 2.2 inch blade or something like that i thought this was gonna be a full-size knife so when i bought it i was expecting a full-size knife and then i pulled out this little tiny guy and i was just like oh interesting i thought i was gonna get a big knife this i think is tiny and adorable so not a not a uh, i do not regret buying it at all size does not matter um to me <laughs> uh but yeah, just you know, always pay attention to what you're buying. I've made uh, some mistakes buying the wrong thing, um, but I this is not a mistake at all. Glad I got this. Uh, I think this is my first can cancept knife, uh, and so far, uh, first impressions, I definitely uh, like their designs and their their fit and finish. So far, it's pretty good. And this guy also comes in it comes with this very nice cancept pouch. Very long, and it just fits right in there very comfortably. I really like that. I like it when knife companies, you know, put a little extra stuff with your knife. And this is a really nice place for it to, you know, just rest. So, I think that would be it for this video. Thank you 
so much for watching. I hope you like this video. If you like more knife and easy related content, check out my other videos. Remember to subscribe because I post every Friday, sorry, every Saturday and every other Sunday, and there'll be more knives, more videos in the future. Thank you so much for watching and have a fantastic day. Bye.